I just want to make a quick video on something I've been working on. Uh, I have here a motor guide 20 pound thrust stealth version. Um, I took the, the head unit off, uh, I cut the wires, stuff like that. Uh, there they are coming out of the, the shaft. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take a pipe cutter and cut the shaft down a little bit to make it shorter. Uh, what I want to do is make this for a kayak. Um, and uh, so I want to reduce the size of the battery. Uh, this is a size 27. It goes to my Bass Hunter boat, so it's not for this thing, but uh, this is just to show you. Um, I went ahead and straight wired a, a speed controller unit to straight to the motor from the battery and this is what it looks like so I turn it on and there it is and that's full speed and I wind it down now about halfway right there and the nice thing about this is that it uh, saves power the power consumption so the problem I'm having is if you look right here it seems like it's making a knocking noise. I apply pressure right here, it kind of quiets down. I don't know if that's the motor or if it's just this prop here. So that's something I gotta work on there, figure that out. And then you can, of course, you can dial it up, dial it back down, and turn it off. This, is a, uh, this unit was pretty cheap. It was about $10 with free shipping. Uh, this trolling motor I got for nothing. I bought a John Boat years ago. And the guy wanted to sell the trolling motor and John Boat for uh, 150 bucks, And talked him down to 100 bucks. So got the, I always figured I got the John Boat for 100 bucks and got this trolling motor just for nothing. So Anyway... Um, so what I wanted to do was uh, incorporate this uh, speed controller into this head unit and what I want is the forward and reverse so I was going to just kind of use the, uh, the dial here and kind of mix the two so that way I can just kind of you know uh, tune the speed a little bit to where it's uh, it's a little more fine tuned and but the thing is is I I would like to just make a hand box and have this controller in it and just a, sl a switch that would uh, for do a forward and reverse on it and um, I'm not really sure how to do that um, if you can just reverse the poles or something so I, I don't know uh, if you know a way to make a forward and reverse for this uh, without using this thing here uh, send me a comment and let me know um, so that's about it um, hopefully I'll, I'll I'm gonna make another video when I get it finished up and then probably make another video once I get it onto a kayak uh, I am saving up for another kayak uh, so hopefully I can get that going um, but it's a slow process because, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so. Anyway, uh, but I just kind of had this troll motor laying around, and I wanted to, I've always wanted to convert it into one of these uh, kayak trolling motors, you know, with controls variable speed. So I guess I'm just tackling that uh, project and just kind of wanted to share this with everybody. Uh, anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks. Bye.